Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw, and I'm here with a familiar face to most of you. He's been on uh, uh, Insider Travel Report many times. Matthew Upchurch, who is chairman and CEO of Virtuoso, and we're here at the annual Virtuoso Travel Week. And we're going to talk a little bit about Virtuoso Travel Week and where the organization is heading as a whole. And this is Insider Travel Report. Matthew, you just really held the largest Virtuoso Travel Week in your history. It's, it's, oh, 6,550 6, participants, mm -hmm. a, a large percentage of them uh, being travel advisors. Uh, mm -hmm. Some say the event is getting too big, and uh, what are you going to do? And the question is, how are you making it big and keep all the people you want to keep, uh, but also making it small and making those human connections possible? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and by the way, yeah, over 50% are advisors here. Yeah. We actually, last year was the first time we actually couldn't take any more. Uh, so that was sold out. But, you know, that is a super interesting um, opportunity. How do, you, how, how do you grow larger and smaller at the same time? Mm -hmm. uh, the way we've done that is we up the number of uh, matched appointments. We changed the schedule to have more free time. Uh, we now have all kinds of what we call cafes. So there's a cruise cafe, an air cafe. And the communities uh, as well. Yeah. We had a whole community program. So a lot of what we're doing is with a larger campus. By the way, I was, you know, I remember when we had a thousand people and everybody said it was too big. And now, so that's a natural comes with it. But, but the beauty of having this kind of scale is choice. So what we're doing in designing this is that today, there we roughly estimate, I'm not talking about our scheduled appointments and scheduled things. I'm talking about the, the events within the events, hospitality suites, restaurant buyouts. We um, estimate that there are 853 events within the events going on now. So, you know, I'll be at you know, the Bellagio pool and one side will be the Brazilian white party and the other side will be the cruise and the other people will be there. I go up and down the spa tower in an elevator and attend five cocktail parties in two hours. It's a tough life, huh? But you know, but it's, <laughs> but it, but that provides, that provides yeah. the tremendous amount of choice. It's kind of like it's, when you do go to New York, well, yeah, it's big, but you have a lot of choice. Now, uh, we're, we're at the end of this year's, almost at the end of this year's Virtuoso Travel Week. What are some of the takeaways that you uh, have from uh, this event this time? Um, you know, I did, a, I did a presentation at the opening uh, that was all about stories of people in this network and real life situations. And it was all about how do you compete with an algorithm? Mm. And I talked about the concept that the way you compete with an algorithm is with the rhythm of the heart. If computers are gonna be better at being computers, how can we be more human? Mm -hmm. And what was fascinating and what was so energizing for me is that not only were they very heartfelt um, and very personal stories, but the fact that we could use the YouGov data that we've now you know, been working on for the last three years to actually finally be able to quantify that being more human is good business. And we were able to show the statistics from YouGov that clients that are advised by virtuoso advisors spend three times more than unadvised mm -hmm. clients in the same income bracket. So these are, these are consumers in the exact same income bracket. So, um, and that's pretty impressive. So for me, that was incredibly energizing to know that this kind of gut feel about there's value in this was actually something that I could quantify with real numbers. Now, the other thing is everyone walks away from here with a few tools and new things. And what were the kind of tools and technology that you hope they take away? I know one is your new concept, the, the new concept wander list. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to talk about that one or, uh, or other mm -hmm. things that you think uh, you'd like to see them go out and use now that they've been here. Well, we had a lot of different tools. First of all, they leave here with the most important thing is, is the layering of these relationships, right? Mm -hmm. The ability to call upon these, on, on, on these partners and have those relationships. We estimate that between 500 and $800 million worth of business actually is born here and, and is the genesis here, which is huge because our partners tell us about literally walking away from here with actual, you know, with actual business. The other side of though is the fact that, um, we have all kinds of technical, we have Wanderlist, which is our kind of long-term planning tool. Right. 
We, you know, the other part that I'm really proud of is what we've done with our Virtuoso incubator. We had an entire technology incubator session with not just the technology that we're building, but also the things that are, that, that you know, our incubator program has basically inspired travel tech companies to think about advisors mm -hmm. and not wait to the last minute. So we had a, a number of those incubator companies here. We're building the Virtuoso Cloud to be able to provide uh, data feeds and microservices. Um, and then there was a huge amount of professional development that was done here. Let's finally talk about the health of Virtuoso today and where it is, um, as well as uh, where you would like to see it in a, a year from now. Uh, obviously, you've been expanding internationally. You've got a lot of initiatives going on. Uh, what is the Virtuoso organization today? Well, the, the vision has always been that we're a truly, fully global organization. Mm -hmm. uh, we just opened an office in Shanghai. Uh, we're expanding our office in London. Um, so we're really starting to build the, the, the regional teams. Uh, Australia and New Zealand has been very strong for us a long time. We just celebrated 20 years in Brazil and 20 years in, in, in Latin America and Mexico. Uh, we have offices and people in, those t in Mexico City and Sao Paulo. Um, so continue to grow globally. Um, uh, continue to grow the Virtuoso brand to the benefit of our members and, and our partners. I mean, it's music to my ears, given that next year will be the 20th anniversary. Mm -hmm. To be totally frank, you know, we had a big dream, but the dream was always like, the reason we created the Virtuoso brand is we wanted customers to say, I want to find a Virtuoso agency. And I think I, you have that now. And we have that. We yeah. get that report time and time again. We also have the great thing is that not only the customer, but the uh, the advisors. Uh, you know, I want to go work at a Virtuoso uh, agency. So that's the power of the brand. We continue to build that. We want to. Um, we are going to be upping our game significantly in our digital experience, consumer digital experience, of which Wanderlust is part of it. But there's a much bigger bigger part there. Um, our Virtuoso Life just won the Clarion Award for the best magazine, not even travel magazine, but just mm -hmm. overall magazine. Pretty cool when you beat, you know, O Magazine and people like mm -hmm. that. Um, and then also to just keep focusing on how we can um, make ourselves larger and smaller at the same time. Our community program has been hugely successful. We're going to continue to build... Um, Communities, so there's communities within, within within the organization of people that share passions. And our technology will continue to focus on how we can automate the predictable so that we can humanize the exceptional. Well, Matthew, thank you very much again for taking the time to talk about where Virtuoso is today. I, I look forward to seeing you hopefully in Vienna where we'll celebrate the 20th anniversary of the Virtuoso name. I was there, as you yeah, were. <laughs> and, um, and then next year, We'll see where we are back here at the Bellagio in Las Vegas once again and with the, the extended campus with yeah. the Dara and area, which uh, I am getting my exercise in as everybody <laughs> else is. But it's been a marvelous conference. As always, it's one of the best in the industry. Thank you very much. I'm James Schillinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report.